Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of The Studio Life. I am Mark, the host of The Studio Life, easily reachable via Instagram messaging at, at Manhattan Beach Studios. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about the gear we use. Here we go! And we're in production. We're not getting sponsored to do this. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about this device over here called the Killaview E3. And the Killaview E3 is an encoder. It largely takes some signal and puts it onto the network or onto IP, which makes it an amazingly versatile device. And it's one of the most important non-shooting devices that we have, meaning not a camera, not audio. This is just a behind the scenes product that no one ever really appreciates, but solves millions of problems. And this has saved our butt many a time. And so this little device is an encoder. It encodes some signal that comes in and turns it into RTMP or NDI or, or SRT or all kind, you know, a number of other protocols and it does it very, very well. It's a two channel encoder and you can assign each channel to another encode. But I wanna show this to you because it's, it's pretty cool. It doesn't get in the way of anything. If anything, it actually just participates in the flow. In other words, you don't lose an input or an output by using it. Everything just kind of goes through it and it does its thing. The E3 is a pretty simple interface. You'll notice uh, right here that there's an ethernet port and then right above it, there are two HDMIs. And those HDMIs, one in and one out. One, it just loops through. The SDI, same thing. One in and it loops through. And then right above it, you have this USB. No idea what that does. Don't really care. And then above that, you have power. Now, we've never used the power, not a day in our lives, because the unit is power over Ethernet. And so a lot of the time, we bring switches with us, and we just plug everything into the switch. And as a result, the units are powered. Now, think about what this can do. You plug this into the network and all of a sudden anything you plug in can be encoded. In other words, this works like an encoder. This can simply take whatever that signal is and send it to YouTube or Vimeo or anything else that has an RTMP feed available. You simply just type it into the interface and off it goes. It's got a little touch screen, super important because sometimes we don't know what the IP address is where we are. And so we need to know if we wanna get into the interface. And that is right here. I think by law, every device that has internet access should be able to tell you what its IP address is. And this, it tells you what it is right on the front. Super easy, super fast, lightweight. Just type it into your computer browser, up, up comes all the settings. And you can stream or encode to four locations at once. And you can do any of them up to 3G. Now, I wanna make sure I have a disclaimer, which is I'm not the tech geek that works for Kill of You. I'm the tech geek that works for Manhattan Beach Studios. And as a result, if I get something a little bit wrong, yeah, I do my best. But what I can tell you is we've used this for two encodes at one time. We one time ran out of inputs on our switcher. So by running everything through here, we got another input because on our switch, we were able to take that signal and decode it back into another available input. We have used this to take cameras that were not NDI available, simply run the output in through this device, and all of a sudden that became an NDI source. We've done the same thing for computers that did not have NDI encoders built in. And all we did was plug the output of the computer into here and we had an NDI available source. Not only that, we can run through this device as if it wasn't even there and we were still able to plug into anything else anybody wanted us to plug into. So it didn't get in the way. It just simply worked. The bottom line for something like this is versatility, right? You know, if we don't always know what we need and that's why carrying a bag of converters and scalers and encoders and we do have one decoder that goes along with this is life changing. It just lets us make sure that we can do whatever needs to be done. This can encode and you have a bunch of settings. And by the way, this can also encode to H265 or HEVC, which is super awesome. And we do use that for SRT communication. SRT is a trans a transport protocol, right? It just takes whatever's there and sends it somewhere and can be picked up somewhere else. 
So if we're on location, you can simply take this device, plug a video in, plug an ethernet cable in, and as long as this is configured properly, it talks to the studio, it sends us that feed. Now we use this for a concert where we were doing all of the graphic overlays and on location, they simply, we sent them one of these devices and we said, out of the output of your switcher, plug one end into this. And they were also going to plug into something else and they said, but they didn't have enough outputs. And we said, you don't need enough output, another output, you can use this, just plug into it, take the loop out and you're still good. We're not in the way at all. But all of a sudden on our end, all the way across the country, that video pops up we're able to add all the graphics. And at one point, something went down. And so we saw that this went out because they lost their switcher for some reason. And all we did at that point was add more video overlays, things like that. Something that a Remy operation or a remote operation can do when we control the output signal to the world. And so one of these little devices, it connected us to the location and it all worked out. So we use this everywhere. We use this in the studio. We use this outside the studio. We use this sometimes when we just need another camera input or we want to send something somewhere, we just use it. And so this is a topic of gear we use and we're thrilled obviously to use this and to share it because it means so much to us. So thank you, Kill of You, man. We, we appreciate it and we thank you. And uh, if you've got any questions at Manhattan Beach Studios uh, through Instagram messaging, we're always around and we love talking about this stuff. We are geeks and we'll see you next time.